क्वेश्चन ट्वेल्व इट सेज अ रिजिड बॉडी इज ऑब्जर्व इन इक्लिबीरियम इन अ पर्टिकुलर नॉन रोटेटिंग नॉन इनर्शियल फ्रेम वॉट कैन यू कंक्लूड इफ द बॉडी इज ऑब्जर्व फ्रॉम एन इनर्शियल फ्रेम देर आर ऑप्शन सो लेट से दिस इज द बॉडी एंड दिस बॉडी इज इन इक्लिबीरियम दैट मीन्स इट देर इज नेट टॉर्क हैज टू बी जीरो फ्रॉम द सेंटर ऑफ मास लेस से Uh, or or for that sake uh, at from any point and uh, there has to be net force zero from that non non inertial frame let's say that non inertial frame was moving with acceleration a so that will giving a pseudo force to this and this pseudo force must be balancing all uh, other forces net value so that uh, the net force becomes zero from that non inertial frame so we can claim that the net force acting on the body is going to be equal to ma by magnitude first of all second it has to be uh, in along the same line and acting at the center of mass why because this pseudo force is going to act at the center of mass location so uh, this net force also sh should be acting on the center of mass so they should have the same line of action so that their torque is also zero so this is the given information based on this information we need to find what happens or what observations are going to be from an an inertial frame when we are in inertial frame then this force will not be visible or will not be there basically so you'll find if this force is not there then this force is going to be the resultant force net force is going to be the resultant force and since this is a resultant force that means we are having a body Uh, with a resultant net force and uh, that means that body cannot be in translational equilibrium so that's obvious point we can conclude let's read these options it says the body is in rotational equilibrium but not in translational equilibrium so yes we just commented that it will not be in translational equilibrium what about the rotational equilibrium you will find uh, uh this force came to uh, balance this f net and we uh, we claim that torque about the center of mass was already zero so by add coming this force or removing this force will not make any difference in the torque about the center of mass to remain zero that means torque will still be remain zero in inertial frame but net force will not be zero so that will say there will be rotational equilibrium but not translational equilibrium that's what the statement a says hence we will be marking this statement a now let's read b a statement it says net torque of all forces on the body about its mass center is a null vector yes that's what we are saying it's a null vector so b is also correct c says net torque of all forces on the body about any point that is collinear with the line of the acceleration of the center of mass is a null vector now you'll find uh, this uh, force is going to be uh, giving some acceleration and that acceleration will be along this line if we take any point on this line and try to find the torque then that torque has, is going to be zero again because this force torque will be zero with respect to any point on this line moreover all other forces torque was already zero so that will still remain zero so we will say the net torque will be zero about any point on this line which is uh, collinear with the direction of acceleration so c is also correct d says net torque of all the forces on the body about all the points of a line that is parallel to the line of acceleration of the cent mass center is a null vector now this time it is trying to claim that if we take this line and consider a point p let's over here about this point v we, we are uh, uh, going to see how the torque is acting whether the torque becomes null about this point as well so you'll find about this point this force will be giving the torque and the torque of this force will not be zero so from any point which is on the parallel line to this line uh, direction of acceleration we cannot say the torque is going to be zero 
so this option d is not appropriate to answer hence we will be marking a b and c as correct responses thank you